good morning i have just woken up and we have had a very exciting delivery so we had completely renovated this master bedroom from when we moved in in last july and the last thing that was missing from this room was a bed a nice bed that was in keeping with the rest of the decor so we looked for one online and we found one on Soho Home that we really liked, but unfortunately it just won't fit up our stairs with the current measurements. So we ended up having one custom made for the space and it came on Friday and then we've only just received the mattress. So I'm gonna show you the new bed in the space. So this is the new bed and I absolutely love the detail on it. We got a fabric that was really, really easy to clean if anything should happen. I really like the height of it and I really like how it looks with the bedside tables. And also there is some detailing at the end of the bed like this. And we went for really, really dark legs for the bed and I really like those. They're actually more of a dark brown than a black but on the camera it's showing up as black and this is what the new bed looks like. I'm just going to go a bit closer. I really really love this bed and it is a super king which we've never ever had before so it's going to be amazing and then just this morning this arrived and it is incredibly heavy, incredibly big, and we're going to put it on the bed and give it some air. So I'm extremely excited. I've actually, the weirdest thing about buying a mattress online is I haven't been able to see what it feels like yet. So this is incredibly exciting to see how comfortable it hopefully is. So let's open it. Here is the mattress on the bed. The mattress is not yet fully inflated, as you can see. So I genuinely cannot wait for it to inflate so I can feel what it is actually like and how soft it feels. Because right now, it's definitely not to its full size. I am absolutely so, so excited about this. The bed is huge. It's literally six foot wide and I can't wait to go to sleep tonight. However, I also bought, oh, little baby. She's taking my chair. I also bought, I also bought quite a lot of stuff for this new bed. And I'm gonna show you what I bought right now. And I'm so excited about it because we bought such nice bed stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> because this bed is a lot bigger then our last bed, which was a king size, this is now a super king. We had to buy quite a lot of stuff for the bed. And I'm really excited to show you what we got because I think it is really interesting looking at people's bed linen and what duvets they use and stuff like that. So let's begin. I'm gonna start with what we got from John Lewis. And oh my gosh, everything is quite heavy. So this is what we got from John Lewis. And where is the front? So it's from their synthetic collection. And it is just the duvet itself. So the main reason we ended up going with this is because it said it was very good at temperature regulating. And at the moment it's been quite warm in England. And I just wanted to see if it would help with that. We have seriously been considering getting air conditioning in this room because it's just been rather warm. <laughs> but I'm so excited to see if this mattress is going to help at all. It hopefully will be really good. And that was from John Lewis. And then the rest of the things I got were all from the White Company. I really like their bedding. I've always been a fan of their bedding. Oh, the mattress is definitely getting bigger. I've always been a fan of their bedding and I've used it before many times. So this is what I got for the new bed. So the first decision we had to make 
was what pillows we'd have because our pillows on this bed are obviously going to be a lot longer. And we chose to get the luxury Hungarian goose down pillow. And because these were rather pricey, I got two of these and I got two of the perfect everyday duck down collection pillow. And as you can see, this pillow is rather wide, so it is going to be quite a big pillow. Fred is not enjoying this at all, bless him. Oh dear, oh dear. Poor Freddy, all the banging and the moving around. He does, oh, <laughs> he's absolutely gorgeous, the little face he's pulling at me now. We'll sit on this chair for mommy. Go on in, sit down, sit down. Oh, look at Fred on this chair. In fact, I don't see a dog on the chair, do you? <laughs> see, I put him there, hopefully he'll stay. I don't know why, but the dogs absolutely hate it when we're moving anything around. They, I think it's because they hear things um, a lot more louder, a lot louder. I think they hear things louder than what we do, so it's quite uncomfortable. So, in terms of duvet covers, which after this video I'm going to be putting all in the washing machine because Nat won't sleep on it when it's fresh from the shop like this. I don't know why. I actually personally would, but he won't. But anyway, we went for the Blake. And this is a really, really cool duvet cover because I don't know if you can see on the camera. Ah, I don't think you can. It's kind of, oh, I think you slightly can. Yeah, you can. So it's got this like herringbone pattern to it, which I thought looked really, really cool. It is 800 thread count cotton sateen. Hopefully I said that right, but very excited for that. So this is the set we went for. And then we got everything to match. So we actually couldn't find the fitted bed sheet for this exact one. So we ended up just going for one from the Cavendish collection, I think. And then we also got in here, hopefully, yeah, this is a different bed collection, so not that next. We also got some pillowcases. So we got the Oxford pillowcase in Super King for the Blake. And we got, these are literally all the pillowcases that we got. So we got that. Essentially, we got the pillowcases for the normal, the new pillows I just showed you. And we also have some big square pillows. So we got all of those in the Blake and they are all here in crazy order. And then, oh, yeah. So like we got this, we got the squares, if you can see. So that's what we got. And along with the Blake, we went for, this is so much stuff. We went for another duvet color cover called the Savoy. So the Savoy kind of has this like little gray line on it. I think like bordering the duvet. And it's just, so we've got all of the pillowcases for that here. And then we got the, duvet cover for that, the Super King. And it was in, so this is 400 thread count, Egyptian cotton. Very exciting to sleep in this. I'm really, really genuinely excited to see what it feels like. And then we also got the Savoy 400 thread count fitted sheet. And yeah, that's it. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but genuinely, I'm surrounded by pillows and yeah. Um, and I'm finally, <laughs> actually I did get one more thing. I got the cutest little pajamas. If you know me, you'll know I have a complete obsession with new pajamas. And whilst I was in the white company, I saw these that were in the sale. So I was just like, I have to get them. They're so soft. It's just this little top here. 
and these bottoms. I actually ended up getting them in a medium, so I really hope they fit. But I think they will, because I love pyjamas that are quite baggy. So I got those pyjamas, and that is everything we got. I think the mattress has definitely got a lot bigger during this conversation. I'll just show you. So yeah, it's starting to get a lot thicker. So I will update you when the bed is all made and I have washed all the sheets. Or are you gonna wash them, Freddy? Freddy, you gonna do the washing for mommy? You gonna wash the bedding? <laughs> I think that was a yes, so Fred's gonna do it. And then this, oh, I'm just obsessed with this bed. I really, really think that the oatmeal -y tones really go in with the room, along with this chair. So that is the new bed mattress update. Hello, it is currently Father's Day today and we are hosting a big Father's Day roast for my dad and I'm just preparing. Uh, <laughs> I bought his gifts yesterday and I have not yet wrapped them but I'm going to right now. I also had this amazing cake made for him which I really like. So, I went to John Lewis to buy all his gifts and the first thing I got him was a little molten brown, molten brown shower gel, which I thought was really cute. I don't think there's a price tag on her, so it's all good. And I've got some sellotape here. So I'm going to wrap it up. So this is currently, this is the little office that we have in our house and we have a sofa behind me here which I think not next week but the week after we're actually replacing. I've ordered a new one from Loaf and it's coming and it's this absolutely beautiful corner sofa in dark grey velvet and I'm really really excited to see it in this space. <laughs> Harley's also with me in here and she is wanting me to play with her with her monkey bless her. She's watching me. And doing inappropriate things with her monkey that she did on yesterday's, well, the vlog I put out yesterday. I, I don't know when I'll put this one out, but yeah. <laughs> She's very naughty. We also have builders in today, even though, yes, it is a Sunday, because we are starting our renovations so this in this phase of renovations we are having our spare room done along with the stairs and hallway completely all redone and honestly i'm so excited about it we we kind of paused all of our renovations because i'm in the middle of buying a rental property and we just haven't done them in a while and just booked them in although when we did book these ones in it was quite a long time ago and obviously when you book something in it has to be booked quite a while in advance so I booked these in a while ago and I don't actually know when the stairs is going to start now but I think we're going to start on all the building work for it I am also definitely not the best wrapper, but I really enjoy like an event like Father's Day because, you know, I just love a birthday, love Father's Day, and I especially love hosting them. I really like being a host. I've got some weird hair there. I really like being a host, and we actually hosted Christmas Day, the one that we just had, and it was so good. <laughs> oh, that sounds like I'm really blowing my own trumpet there, but it, I really, really liked it. Um, my family and my boyfriend's family, I think they also really liked it. So we are going to be the ones that host Christmas and I'm already excited for this Christmas because I just, I, I think about like what stocking presents I'm going to get and how I'm going to decorate the house and how I'm going to decorate the tree. Ready? 
um, we got a real Christmas tree this year and we put it in our kitchen. I will say in our house, it's quite hard to find a really, really good spot for the Christmas tree. I feel like the kitchen probably is going to be the best spot and where we put it again this year. But I'm not sure, I'm already thinking about it though. Um, yeah, I'm really making a mess of this. It's kind of like it's a bottle, obviously, so it's quite hard to make it completely flat. Oh, I think this is a bit long. Yeah, I'm extremely excited to host today. I think we're doing a chicken and pork roast. I actually don't really like meat, but I'll have chicken. But I just got a thing about meat. Don't like to talk about it. I actually was vegetarian for a long time so the only meat I do eat is chicken now and I'm quite yeah I don't really talk about it very much but I probably would be veggie I've done quite a lot of oh sorry darling a lot of research on it and veggie is probably what I should be but I think so when I when I did try and go vegetarian I felt really really ill because my body wasn't getting enough protein and I got to the point where I was just like, this just isn't worth it. So, here's present number one with my wrapping. I'm going to put it on the side. I think my dog wanted to sit on my knee, so. Okay. And then here is present number two for Father's Day. Now, this one definitely has the price on it. Excuse me, missus. You can't sniff it. She's sniffing everything. Oh! She just jumped off. Um, so I think I've already got him a shirt very similar to this. But I think men are different in that if they have something similar that they like, they will just, sorry, I'm getting a pen. They will just keep wearing it. So hopefully he likes it. I'm just scribbling out the price here. But I got him this Ralph Lauren shirt, which I really like. Hope it fits him. And I think it's definitely a good present for Father's Day. I am quite excited to see him open them. I personally like watching people open presents I've bought them more than I enjoy receiving a present just because if you don't like it, it can be really awkward. But as, it, as in like, you're like, oh! I love it when you open the present and yeah, I just find that quite awkward. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love giving presents, but I'm still in training to become better and better at wrapping them. I'm really excited about the renovations coming up though because I feel like they're really, really going to just transform our house completely and I feel like they're basically some of the last things we can do before we have all of the extensions that we're planning. Because there are definitely a lot of extensions planned and well, we're trying to get the planning for them. It's definitely a stressful process because the first one we put in actually didn't get approved. So we're trying to work around and think about what the council might let us have. I'm just going from there really. I, they're definitely not going to start this year, I don't think. I can't see it happening. But with the building that we really want at the end of the garden, which is a permitted development, hopefully we might be able to start if we did really want. <laughs> um, I also need to give it a penny for my family to come because the gardener yesterday um, did the end of the garden because the end of our garden was literally just tons of weeds. We have essentially moved into a property that needed so much renovation and everything, including the garden, everything needs like a major uphaul. but we've done quite a lot. So we've, we've nearly been here a year, we've been here a year next month. But anyway, the dogs have gone into the mud at the end of the garden and brought quite a lot of it with them into the kitchen. So I will be 
mopping all of the floors after this because it does look really, really bad. And as I said, we have builders in here preparing for the wardrobes to be done as that starts tomorrow. So I, I will be showing you the room when I can. I just I can't get in there now as the builders are in there. But yeah. We've also looked into getting an aircon recently because it's just so, so hot to sleep at the moment. I really, really struggle to sleep in the heat. It's just not fun. But hopefully we'll get it one day. Ooh. And this is present number two. I think I did okay with the wrapping actually. It doesn't look too bad. But it's really good. Number two, and then the third thing I got my dad is well, this is going to be awkward to wrap. I got him a I actually just went to Ralph Lauren for like all the rest of the presents, but I got him a Ralph Lauren bell, just a black one. Apparently, that's the only thing he had actually asked for that he actually wanted. And finally, I got him a grey jumper from Ralph Lauren, which I really like. I hope he does too. I had a cake made for my dad for Father's Day. I'm going to show you it. So I went to a place called The Cake Shop in Oxford and my dad really, really likes trains. <laughs> and I can't show it. I got him this cake that says Happy Father's Day. So I've literally just finished mopping the whole house and sorting the table out and this is the Father's Day table. Looks okay. And the cake looks really, really cute. And then the presents are here. And Chef Nat is cooking all the food. So something incredibly exciting is happening in this room today. This is one of our guest rooms and it is getting the ultimate makeover. And I thought I would show you now because the renovations are finally beginning. I am so excited because we have genuinely waited to do this room for quite a while. But this is what the builders did yesterday. They completely got rid of where the old horrible wardrobe was. And this is where our new wardrobe is gonna be. So the new wardrobe is gonna have loads of little squares going down, so like across, like little squares. And it's going to have the beautiful brass handles, which I showed in another vlog, the same as my bedroom and it's gonna go in this gap here. Now inside it, there's going to be a rail at the top, maybe a shelf, no, a shelf at the top, then a rail, and then three drawers for storage. So I thought I would show you the progress after the first day, and here it is. So the room's essentially been stripped and prepared for what is going to happen. So all the skirting boards are removed, and you can see on the wall, it's marked out where there's going to be all these amazing squares, <laughs> which are gonna look gorgeous. And then, yeah, it's just all been prepared, all been stripped. How exciting. The bed is officially ready. I have washed everything and sorted it all out. And it is very, very comfortable. I think I really, really love these pillows and I can't wait to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end my vlog here. I'm just editing it currently and I realize it's quite a mishmash of things going on. Quite a lot of different random things going on from my day. I really hope you like it because <laughs> it's quite random, but yeah, that's, that's what's going on. I guess all my videos are a little bit like that, but thank you so much for watching this video. And if you did like it, please subscribe to me or like this video. It would mean so much. Thank you. Goodbye.